we're talking about going higher, further, and deeper. And I'm just very excited about the collaboration of that with the fasting season that we're in. What I want to do is to look at just a segment of that because it's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, Sister Margaret gave a scripture that I love uh, at the opening of last Sunday, and I want to take, start my reading from there. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. It is a challenging scripture in more ways than one. It says, after this, after all this, after all the challenge, all the blessings, after all the promotion, after all this, he said, I looked and behold, a door was opened in the heavens. And the first voice, the very first voice that spoke, which I heard was as if it was a trumpet talking to me. There's a personal message coming this morning. It is not to be passed on to somebody else. It is for me. It is for you. It says, it says, which said, come up hither. Say, I will come up hither. I will listen to the master's voice. Repeat it again. I will listen to the master's voice. Spirit of the living God, come afresh upon this mantle. Let your word come forth with clarity. Amen. Let the purpose for which you have ordained this day, this hour, let it be fulfilled. Amen. Use me as a vessel of honor. Speak through me, O oh God, with clarity. Let all flesh, you know, be cut off. And let your spirit be loosed upon this place. Amen. Let there be open heaven, even in every home that is listening. Amen. Father, that will listen, that your name and your name alone may be glorified. Amen. We thank you and we adore you, O oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Well, when I was approaching this, it just occurred to me that I should make it a little bit innovative. And the way I was directed, especially I have the youth in mind. If you are a youth, if you are under 80, you are a youth. Amen. That pretty much includes everybody. And I had this analogy come into my spirit when I was looking at this topic about going higher for Christ. We want to ascend higher for Christ in this season. And the church is preparing us. You know, what do I mean by this? The Bible says, those who wait upon the Lord, Isaiah chapter 40, shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagle. And I reflected on that. I paused there and I reflected. I said, well, is there a higher height that can be ascended onto than the ego. And I remember a story many years ago that a buzzard, I think it was a buzzard or an ego, came into the aeroplane, the, the wings of the aeroplane, and got stuck there and got killed. And the aeroplane was flying at around 30,000 feet above sea level. And they began to wonder what sort of bird would be able to be at that level. And they came to the, to the conclusion that it must be an eagle. Eagle will fly at, at 10,000 feet, as far as I know. So, so when we're talking about flying high, it's quite high for an eagle. But I believe that the Lord is challenging us this morning. Like he did to that man that said, I have done everything, Lord. What must I still do? It says, sell everything. Sell everything. That's another level. Amen? Amen. Does anybody believe that's another level? Amen. Sell your house. Sell your car. Sell everything. You know, sell your wardrobe. In order to ascend higher. And the, the young man wept. Because it's too much of a price to pay. So there's always that higher level. And I will challenge you this hour that we look onto Jesus for strength in those moments. And I began to search, I began to look, and I found 
something about the rocket. Where I will take my analogy from this morning. The rocket is a multi-parted aircraft, space vehicle, you might call it, that has three essential parts to it. It has a nose cone, which is where the payload system is. The load, the satellite, or whatever is carrying goes into that. If it's a human being that's going to space, they sit there. And then it has also what you call the propulsion system. This is the system that's responsible for the lift. That's where all the fuel goes in. That's where all the power goes in. That's where all the, 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 the force, I call it the capacity, the capability of the aircraft. That is where it comes from. Amen. And then you have also, in between those two, you have what you call the guidance system. 